Yep, extend drag out. Yep, so drive those tries through the lats there. Yep. There it goes. So same thing with you. I'll just work on your push back there. Let's position your feet out a little bit wider. So it's not, yeah, so it's more like just extending your knee out to get a little wider. Think about driving through um, your glutes and everything to push back. Um, and then for you, it's almost like the same type of deal with him. When you press, I feel like you're starting to lose a little bit of that. I want to see that position stay there. And I want you to focus on driving through your lats and triceps to finish and keeping the bench stroke as short as possible. Like, really try not to press more than you have to. You know what I'm saying? So as you're coming down, you're squeezing that back as tight as you can together. So just close off a little more. If you're in your back, see what I did there? That's what I want. I'll get you out. Right there, settle it. Load that up and keep it. Short stroke, fire back. Okay. Yeah, get, getting there, getting there, yep. And then just watch the, um, the wrist, the bars back in the wrist a little bit. Could definitely get just a little bit lower there. Yep, you want that bar to be right in that thumb meat there and then right through here. See where I drew that path? So it's very low here. But see these bench calluses I got here. You can see where that bar is going to be put. Yeah, right there. Yeah, try to get a little bit lower. Bend into it a little. So, um, I started so that high ends towards the pinky. So the first loop will be on the underhand. Okay. Which way is this part? So you got it. You'd be, you'd, you'd put it through here, chat. I've been doing it opposite the whole time. I thought that this is supposed to be down here. Uh, no, because it's going to cover the back of your hand better. So you'll pull it. You don't want to rip on the thing, but you'll just lightly pull it this side. Um, you'll start your first wrap will be on the back, nice and tight under the knuckles. Under the knuckles. Yeah, high okay. up on the back of the hand. High? Yeah. And then okay. you'll you'll kind of um, come down on an angle, so you leave okay. your palm exposed. So that's where the bars can go. Okay. See, I'm I'm keeping it tight though. You're starting. Uh, yours is starting to unravel. You always want to pull enough tension out of it so it stays tight to your arm, your hand, wherever you're putting it. And then from there, it's just working it down. And then see, now I have much more coverage, so it's not going to move on me. Get getting there. Yep. You could probably just get a little more coverage, but yeah, that's that's where you. Down more, or um, probably a little, little, maybe a little higher, but down <laughs> more a little bit. So see where I, I cut it lower. I Not quite. <laughs> sure. So it'll be wow. here. It's a big difference. This will come down underneath. Okay, I was not doing it nearly as tight. Something like that. So you ain't gonna go anywhere. That goes way better. And I have bad I'm a hairstylist, so I have a really bad ones. Yeah, so once that bar's planted in that spot, you're cast it up. There's a lot of support. Now I understand with the longer ones. Do you remember I told you I was like, mine are a lot shorter? Yes. Totally opposite from the way I was taught. Yeah, so you just, you'll just cut it down. I'll get the longer ones right about to here. Now, not all feds allow that. I've never really had a problem where I compete, but um, you might just have to shorten it up a little bit. Yeah, so you might just want to keep it. That, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I take them off just because I like as much skin contact with the bar as I can get. Yeah, you might not allow They might not allow that either, so. Yeah. So that's one thing we have to change. Okay. Everything our coach taught us is wrong. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's good intentions. Well, he doesn't have Well, that's a little bit of issue. Yeah. I always feel like once I put my feet down, I'm losing my tightness. Well, I could tell you now, that's not good because you don't even have your whole foot on the thing yet. 
So you want to definitely be flush to whatever you're benching, whatever you're pushing off of. Yeah, you just want it back in here a little bit. So when you put those feet down, your heels should be in contact with that. Now you have something to push off of. And think of it as there's a wall in front of you. You're trying to push off the wall. Ready? Drag out, drag out. Now really get those legs going. All your weight should be in your traps. A little lower. Then try to drive these triceps through the lats. Create tension. There you go. Good. Nice. That's good. Those last few are really good looking. A good spot. You want to think that as you get closer to your chest, you're loading that back, um, that tension in your back getting greater and greater. You know, so it's harder and harder to hold your position so you're getting met with more resistance as you're coming down. Yep, drag out. Yeah, you're creating more resistance you get down there. Heels hard, yep. Yep. It looks like your leg drive's coming along. Oh, I would just work now on trying to get a better load into your back. So trying to think about like initiating with a row and stuff like that. Yep, like how I was saying, you kind of get that tricep kick to start the, the curl. Kind of trying to think row before you pull down. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here and then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.